Hey guys, this is going to be just a bit of a vlog. So, um, what you see here, this mess, is me attempting to locate the doorbell wiring hidden in this door jam here. Now, I've been doing a lot of uh, improvement type projects uh, in this house since we moved in, um, installing ceiling fans. Um, I fixed a few things downstairs put a smoke detector down there, a wired one, and I fixed the lamppost outside as well, as you can see out there. Um, and so now the next big project is to fix the doorbell system. Now this house, as I had mentioned in my moving vlogs, does have wiring in place, as you can clearly see, cloth covered wire, and then over there, and there was a transformer up on that light socket but it has been removed I removed it because there was no real use reason having it wired in there if there was no doorbell system and uh, I know where the wires for the button go obviously where the uh, the behind the door jam but the door chime is going to be a different story I think it was either on this wall or this wall so I don't know so I'm going to show you what I've been doing I took the uh, loosened, took this door jam off for the storm door. I'm going to put it back later. Um, and I was uh, just poking around behind this metal flashing here. And I did find the wires. They come out, I don't know if you can see it. There's one sticking out right there. One of them. And then the other one is right there. So that's a good sign. That means that I have wires that I can use if I test them and find out that they're not shorted, and I'm going to do that simply with a lighted doorbell button, hook it to the transformer. I'm just going to pull, see if I can pull these wires out a little further. And, yep, there they are. Black wire and a yellow wire. So now what I can do is I can drill a small hole through this here, uh, flashing, feed the wires out to them, and install, let me see if I can find it, Oh, it's actually downstairs. Oh my god, I keep turning that light off. And I can install my... If I can find it, my button. Here it is. So a vintage, new old stock, new tone, non-lighted button. I'll get a lighted one in the future, but that works for now. So we'll have a button at the front door at least. Uh, won't work though, um, <laughs> because they're, for now, I don't know where those door chime wires go. And what I was going to do is, when we had the kitchen redone, excuse the mess on this wall plate, but behind this box, like right here, uh, there's a stud right here that they attach the cabinets to, and the wire I saw ran straight up, so I think it either was on this wall, or maybe it was that wall, or that wall, so I really don't know. I'm going to look with a flashlight really closely on that paint there to see if I can find any markings of where a chime maybe once hung. So a good first step is th that we found the, uh, the button wires. Um, one thing I would like to do in the future is actually run more wires out to this back door here and have a rear doorbell because that would be ideal if I could like run a wire maybe like up from there through here and right here to have some like a rear button here because we do use this door a lot because our driveway we park right there okay i'm going to go ahead and uh put those wires out there so we can have a button at least okay except for this clip okay it's now time for a test so i'm going to test to make sure that those wires that go up to the button aren't shorted or uh broken anywhere so what i've done is i've gone over to the junction here i've opened up the sealing these old tiles, gone over to the junction and I hooked the transformer up there. Kind of see it? It's the old Edwards transformer I removed from over there. I hooked it up to the red and black wires coming from the door. And I'm gonna go upstairs. I did test the transformer. The transformer works. So I'm gonna go upstairs to the front door. And I've got, I've got a door chime here. This is my new tone jewel door chime. And I've got two alligator clips going to those two wires, the red and the 
black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got one hooked up to the trans terminal. I'm going to take the other one and touch the front terminal. And if it rings, then we know the wires are good. All right, well, it looks like we have good wires. So the wires are not broken. They are complete and they are in good shape, it looks like. So we can reuse those old cloth covered wires. Okay, that is great news. So now that we know that we've got good working wires at the front door, let's go ahead and see if we can't find out where the door chime wires are. Okay, see you later. Okay guys, so I've been doing some searching and some measuring, and I'm pretty sure I found out where the chime once hung. So remember, those wires from the junction downstairs go up right next to the stud right here, to the left or to the right of this electrical box to the left of the stud so they go up there and I looked on this wall but it's basically impossible to tell because this wall has been plastered over but look up here above the door I don't know how well you can see it in the camera see that little spot right there that looks like it got plastered over or uh, like patched over and there's sort of like a rectangular like mark almost. So I'm pretty sure that that is where the door chime once hung. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole on this side right here. There's some markings up there too. Um, I'm going to drill a hole on this side, see if I can't find those wires inside the wall. I'm keep kicking the ladder. See if I can't find those wires inside the wall. And then if I can, if they are back there, what I'll do is I will drill a hole through here, pull the wires out, install the chime, then go back downstairs, throw the transformer back up on the uh, the box there, and we will have a working doorbell system. So I'm going to go ahead and do some searching for wires. So wish me luck. Hey guys, well, some good news and some bad news. Um, start with the bad news. Uh, the wire that comes up from the uh, basement ceiling up to the wherever the chime was is not back here. I drilled a hole, tried to find it. It's not back there. So it, I did open up the electrical box right here. Take it off. This is that wire that comes up from the floor. Um, and then I had to run a new wire, as you can see. This is just some old spare cloth covered it, where it's fine, so it should be good. Um, I have plenty of it in case I need it. And what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to fasten it, because I drilled these holes here, I'm going to fasten it here, and that hole was already there, I didn't drill that, I'm just going to do that, and run it across to here, and through to that hole there, and then I'll hopefully have a working door chime. So let me go ahead and splice these together, bolt this box back up, um, and then run the wire over to here. Okay. I'll keep you posted. Okay, we have wire now. I was able to get the wire across and in that I couldn't use that hole because there's a stud right here. Uh, but I got it through that hole there. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to patch that up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to patch all that up. I'm going to paint it over white. It blends in. Um, just, I put the electrical box back together. got a patch over here. And now I'm ready to install, where is it, the chime. So that's going to go right about there right just try to center it as much as I can in the middle of the um, in the middle of the uh, door so yeah um, things are looking good I'm gonna go install the button as well at the same time and the transformer downstairs now one thing I think I found that I think might be the reason why that wire was disconnected from the um, from the at the junction it was it had been cut and I think I know why if I go up here and get a flashlight you can see there's the wire coming out of the, uh, the ceiling for the chime here's the wire going to the button and then there's the wire that came from the transformer which I removed um, look at this there's another wire that's like a lamp cord type thing that goes over here and then it was cut so what I'm guessing is maybe somebody tried to move the chime at one time and then just didn't get around to finishing it and so then they got cut the wire got cut and it was just simply forgotten about now one of my alligator clips here broke off on the wire from there but I'm gonna remove that 
because we are not going to use this. We're going to use the old cloth covered wire, not this. This is a little bit frayed as well, so believe it or not, I actually trust the cloth covered wire more than this. So, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up, and then I'll go back and install the transformer. Okay, well, I got the button put up. It's not hooked up, or it's not, the transformer's not connected yet. But the button's up, as is the chime. The cover's downstairs, I'll get in a minute. And I patched up all the holes that I had drilled. There's one there, and then the bunch in here, as you can see. And also touched up around the electric box. I'm going to, once it dries, I'm going to sand it and then re do some touch, more touch up and then paint. Um, so yeah, now let's see, let's talk about transformers. Now I do have some extra wire left over. I'm not going to be putting the transformer back where it was, which was up there next to, on that light because I've removed that wire. Um, so I was actually thinking a more like direct run would actually be that box right there, which goes to the uh, the light, the switch at the basement light. So that, that is connected to this light right here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright. Get the transformer. It's in here. And I'm just going to be reusing the Edwards transformer because it is just 14 volts and the cord tone says it runs off 16 volts, but I tested it with that one. And this one has enough juice to run both solenoids on the cord tone. So it should work fine. Um, and if it doesn't, I'll just end up going and getting a new 16 volt one from probably from Lowe's or somewhere. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, guys. Well, I had a little bit of a setback, but I got everything situated. I could not use this box because I could not find out which breaker it turned off. I was taking the wire nut off, and the little spring thing that holds the wires together inside of the wire nut came off, and I attempted to get it off and was shocked. So. Uh, the power wasn't off on that one, so I don't know what that goes to. Instead, I remembered that back here there was a, there was some um, BX that had not been used, and it came from the bathroom. And I don't know what it went to, but it was clearly always on. And I tested it with a light fixture. I tested it with this light kit for the ceiling fan. And I did confirm that it is always having power. And it's on the same breaker as that light there. Not as the rest of the basement lights. So what I did was I just brought it around, because uh, it was originally going over that wall, brought it around here, and it's going into this box here. I need to get a cover for this box, but for now it works. I mounted the transformer up there, wire connectors on the box, and then ran the wire over the ductwork and to the transformer, and I got it hooked up there. So that's all good. And upstairs, Here's where the wire comes out of the wall and goes there. I put the cover on the chime. So, and the clock is going to go off, of course, while I'm filming. But ignoring that, so if I push the button, we have a door chime. So, it's pretty loud, too. So, I wonder if you can hear it from uh, the addition. So, yeah, um, once again, it's right there. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Um, in the future, like I said, would like to add a rear doorbell button on that door, but that's um, going to be a different project for a different day. Okay, thank you for watching, and more to come.